So this is the tutorial of the iMovie I've been using for a while before last two years so or three years but now I'm using DaVinci Resolve so I'm not using iMovie anymore. So iMovie is a basic editing software which is for beginners or not for professional. So this software basically is installed when you buy a MacBook iPad or an iPhone, which is everyone can use it on daily basis. So let's jump into my laptop and starting basic tutorials of iMovie. So jumping into the iMovie, you will see one media and the project at the top, which is media is for all your photos and videos should include that here that you import in iMovie in each project. So Basically, we're gonna press project for now and we're creating a new project, which is a new movie. I'll explain from the left side, which is this project media, which is I mentioned before, which is all your photos and videos should be in here. So here's the libraries, which is you can access your photos from your Mac and you can select all the photos you want from here and all the events should be all the project you have import in iMovie it will appear that here so that's basically it and iMovie library which is you can import the project or the music or the videos important here only for this movie like this project so starting from the top, you can show or hide the media library, which is this part, this whole whole things, and you can import the photos, videos by manually. So if you have a hard drive, you can select your photos and videos from here, and that'll be easier for all the people who is doing manually, drag and drop or select the photos you want. And at the right hand side, you will see a share button. If you are using a Mac, you will get used to it. And sharing AirDrop or export your videos or music, whatever you want. So starting from my media, which is you import photos, you can select here and you can drag and drop to the bottom. And here's the audio audio which is you can import the audio you want or from your music and you can select and drop and that's all it is and the titles which is here's a whole lot bunch of different titles or description you want and there are some effects title there's some cool effects and Maybe some cool background blur, which is blur background. So here I have four of cool titles you can select for example and you can type your description or your title by manually. So that's easier for beginner to start editing by iMovie. So you can drag and drop and type whatever you want and all done. The next part is background, which is you can select your cool background or if you want a stage, oh this look like a stage and you can open and close and you know just some basic background and if you want to add some titles or whatever you want you can drag and drop together and there's a short video so yeah, you can select colors and maybe dots. So that's basic background. You can drag and drop to your timeline. And here is a transition, which is from one scene to another scene. So from one scene, you can see here, the background is orange, which is the first scene. And the second scene will be the blue which is coming out here and here's the second scene so that's a cool transaction for the people who's starting with no idea how to edit a video and next we'll come to a toolbar 
So firstly, I have an example at here. I can drag and drop into my timeline. So here's my timeline. You, know, you can see here is a cool normal drone shot, which is in Brisbane. So as you can see here, you have a toolbar up here and bottom here. So firstly, this is your tools and this basically computer will improve your video by basically pressing this button which is it will improve your highlights and tones and colors and some adjustments so that's basically a, for a beginner it's a good thing and secondly we have matching colors your white balance and you can press auto which is automatically it will adjust your colors you know and thirdly we have adjusting colors by manually so if you are getting into a color grading which is me I'm basically color grade each frame when I record my video so that's for people who are starting to color grade you know highlights and skin tone and the cloudy and the water you know so basically you can adjust here by manually or the temperature which is cold and warm you know and the, and the fourth which is cropping and fit which is if you want to crop in frame you can crop in you can crop in and they'll basically crop so that's basically a simple way to crop in and make sure you want your frame in the right spot so the fifth you have stabilization which is it. so if you have a shaky video or a shaky transaction you can just press this button you will fix a lot of problems lately I have used this a lot so the six is the audio which is I'm drag and drop an example here just scroll through the bottom so this will add the new music to the video which is here at the bottom so if you add a music to your video you have tools to use which is here you have auto adjustment which is increasing music audio and the volume and the second here you have mute the audio which is mute the audio you want and you can adjust the volume low and high and the highest is 400 percent or the lower volume of the other clip which is lower the volume you want so the next is reduce the background noise which is good things for all the people if you are hard time with your audio just press this and it would do a lot of things to your audio so lately I use this a lot because you know my homestead have children I always need press this because it always record the children's noise in my video which is annoying before I was having a hard time with fixing the audio and adjusting so it was in pain so simply if you are a basic editor and just want to learn and just press this it will reduce all your background noise and it will do a lot and the next you have speed so you can change the speed of your video or your audio so if you're on a slow pace you press slow and how slow you want 25% or 10% 50 auto or go with normal that's all I want to so I'm not a person who want the audio want to go really slow I like fast pace of the film so so the next thing is your adjustment of your clip filter which is you can select filters and audio effects and you know if you want random 
audio effects you can select here or if you want effects of the filter you can adjust the filter and the next thing is so this is just some basic information of the video and down here we will see the audio button and you can press this you can record your audio in here and you want to talk you can record here that's easier for people who are doing a speaking or recording your voice into the film that's easier for people and here you have start and stop and at the end here you have full screen so that's easier for people who are finish their film and you want to watch it from beginning to the end you can press this and you can do it in full screen so that's good so the timeline works the video is on the top and the audio start at the bottom of the video and here's you can expand larger or smaller of the video so that's easier for people who are have a long timeline you know you have a bunch of timeline you can select and drop and you can zoom in zoom out easier for people to see their videos and here's the setting simple setting so the setting is you can adjust the clip size you can do very big very small and you can show the waves of the audio can fade out the black and you can fade in the black from the black which is you can trim the background music which is I don't need this all and here's the theme you can choose a bunch of templates and here if you are doing a news clip you can select a news clip or you can clip automatically content so it will basically transfer to one scene to another scene and here are some filters if you want some but I never use this because it's not useful I think but but some of it did looks good so but I'm not a person who are getting used to it of the filter and you know I always color grade by myself, I don't use filter very much. So that's basically it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.